Now I do what I want. 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 What's going on, guys? It's your boy Savage TV here. Freaking on the freaking videos. We already know what it is. And today. We are going to be telling you guys a story time, and it's going to be a lit one. You guys already know, whenever I'm in this location, you already know it's about to be a popping story time. So grab your popcorn, let's get into it. Today, we're going to be telling the story. It actually happened two days ago, okay? So I remember it clearly, obviously. This is a story about how I met a, somebody hella famous, crazy famous. And as you guys can tell by the thumbnail, I blacked this guy's face out. So you guys are not going to know who it is because, you know, had to kind of make you guys, I had to draw attention, you know, because the thumbnail, you know, you guys, you got to draw attention. So, you know, by blacking his face out, you know, I thought it, make, it made you guys want to click the video more to see who exactly I met. You know, I feel like if I gave it away in the thumbnail, then it would just be like, you know, oh, I don't even need to watch it because I know who he met. But, guys, I met and had a personal conversation with Greg Bird, guys. Greg Bird. If you guys don't know who Greg Bird is, he's a first baseman for the New York Yankees. And okay, and if you guys don't know, I am a huge, huge Yankee fan. Like, I love the Yankees. I follow them. Like, I follow them all the time. Like, I'm always watching their games. And, you know, obviously, if, you know, if it's the offseason, I'm, you know, I can't watch the games unless it's spring training. But if it's spring training or regular season or even postseason, you know, I'm always watching the Yankees or any type of baseball because I just love baseball. But, as you guys can tell, I got my gold Yankee hat on, you already know. But, um, guys, let's get into the story time, and let's get it, and it's going to be a popping one, so let's get it. Alright, guys, let me set the scene for you guys, okay? So, this is two days ago, okay? Now, I told you guys, I had already told you, I, I already told you guys, oh my god, I'm already stuttering. I already told you guys that I was kind of iffy on if I was going to upload on Sunday, um... Because of the game, I told you guys I was going to a spring training game, Yankees versus Marlins, and we ended up losing that game, which it's unfortunate, but hey, it, it's all going to pay off. It all pays off because I'm going to tell you guys um, what had happened in like before the game even started. So, I told you guys I was already iffy on uploading that Sunday. You know, I was like, oh, you know, I might want to spend time with my family, so just don't don't be expecting a video on Sunday because I don't know if I'm going to even vlog. And I didn't even vlog it, guys. So just, just letting you guys know. But I do have a huge Snapchat story full of the whole, pretty much basically the whole game. It was like you guys were there with me. Um, for those of you guys who don't have me added on Snapchat, add me right here. You already know. Add me if you want to add your boy on Snap. You know, you, you guys should probably do that if you, got, if you guys haven't yet. But... Okay, I, I, I know I get off track and I apologize. So, we're, oh God. <laughs> we are going to be basically just talking about it and how it all went down and how I had a conversation. So, let's set the story straight, okay? We are, this is pre-game, okay? So, um, basically, if you don't know how like baseball games work or whatever, um, there's a set time to start the game, obviously, which which two days ago it was a one a one o five p.m. game. It was one o five, so um, we, me, me, my dad, and my mom decided to go there early because we had already figured, like, we already knew we wanted to get signatures. So we were like, okay, you know, this is the best time. It's spring training. It's not going to be as packed. You know, um, we we just want to go there. You know, get you know get some signatures. So. We go like two hours early from the actual start time of the game because, you know, that's probably the best time to get signatures if you guys don't know how it works. The best time to get signatures or any any kind of, you know, autographs during the game is would be pre-game. Okay, so pre-game because, you know, they're kind of just warming up, you know, they, they, they actually have time to come over. You know what I mean? Because, like, post-game, you know, that is also another one. But, like, also, you know, they don't really have time because, you know, they got to get back on the bus and, you know, go other places. But... This was pre-game, guys. This is pre-game. So, um, once we got in the stadium, um, we went straight to a corner. We asked the staff, "Oh, where will there, where where will the where will the players be signing autographs?" And she, the the lady said, "Oh, it's gonna be down there by the bullpen." And um, we go down there, and we're like one of the first people there, which is always great because. Once once players started showing up, it got packed, like hella packed. You guys don't understand. So, guys, after about, I want to say maybe about an hour or two hours, okay, the players start coming out. You know, what, you know obviously we had seen the players, um, but they were warming up. And, you know, during warm-up, they can't really, you know, sign because, you know, they're stretching and stuff. So, after they're stretching, one of my... 
fa I would say one of my favorite baseball players, Greg Bird, comes over to sign autographs. And you know, he's we were like towards the middle and he was like all the way on the right side, so you know, he kind of had to work his way down. But once he got to the middle, okay? This was me, me and my friend Ryan were there, which is actually crazy, so it, it was dope. But um me and my friend Ryan were there, like, and we, and we were there at the same time, like, you know, we were, we were chilling together at the game, uh, pre-game at least, and, um, I, I kind of talked to him, because, like, I saw, I, I kind of saw Greg Bird kind of coming over to us, so I was, like, I was talking to my friend, I was, like, yo, like, what should I ask him, like, you know, should, like, because, like, like, I don't want to be one of those, you know, typical kids that just, you know, ask for an autograph and just be, like, oh, thank you, man, you know, I kind of wanted to interact with him, ask him a question or two, so I was, like, yo, what should I ask him? And then I had remembered that on Greg Bird's story, I noticed that he plays Fortnite, okay? The game that pretty much, if you don't know what Fortnite is, you're pretty much living under a rock, okay? Everybody knows what Fortnite is, okay? So I play Fortnite, and Greg Bird plays Fortnite on the same console. So we play PlayStation, but I, you know, I don't play with him. But, that would be dope though. But um, we play on the same console, we play on, we play on PlayStation. So... I was, I was, before Greg Bird came over, I was talking to my friend Ryan, I was like, yo, what if I asked him if he was down to run some Fortnite? And you know, Ryan laughed, and he was like, yo, you should definitely say that. And I was like, alright, bet. So, um, maybe, once, once he worked his way down, Greg Bird comes over, okay? Now, I'm, I swear to God, I'm shitting myself, okay? Because this is like, the player that I see on TV every day, the player that I see on interviews, he is right, like, I, I swear I could reach out and I would be touching his glove, like, we were that close, okay? Because obviously I had to reach out and give him my ball. So, this is, this is while I'm shitting myself, okay? Because, like, I'm, I'm, like, choking up because, like, I'm talking to Greg Bird. It's, like, this is crazy. So, um, I'm talking to, um, not talking to Greg Bird. He comes over to me, right? And, you know, he motions toward me to grab my ball. So he grabs my ball, he signs it, and you know, um, once he was like almost, he was like, once he was in the middle of signing it, um, he kind of was asking me, like, you know, he, he was like not like normal players, you know, he was interacting with me, you know, he was like, yo, what's up, man, how you doing? I was like, what's up, man, how are you doing? Like, how's your spring training been so far? And you know, he was like, good, good. And right before he was almost done signing my ball, I was like, yo, bird, you trying to run some Fortnite? And I swear to God, Bird looked me in the eye, he smiled, and he said, always, bro, I'm always down to run some Fortnite. And I was like, oh my God, I just asked Greg Bird if he was down to run some Fortnite, and he said, always. Like, I swear I panicked so, it was it was amazing. It was amazing. I, I just, that was the literally the best experience ever. Um, uh, another bad thing happened, but I'm gonna save that for another video because I feel like I can make another banger out of that But let's just say I was inches away from Aaron Judge now literally I was literally inches away from Aaron Judge this time like literally him and Greg Bird were like maybe this far from each other and Judge was about to sign my autograph and then something went wrong and I'll, I'll explain to you guys that in another video because I feel like I can make another banger out of that I don't want to you know, I don't want to drop all the bangers in one video, but just know I was inches away from getting Judge's signature, and once again, somebody had to ruin it for me. But it wasn't my mom this time, so thank you, mom, for not ruining that for me. But um, just just know I was close to getting Aaron Judge's signature, and one day, man, it's gonna happen. One day, I feel it. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys actually the ticket and the baseball that um, Greg Bird signed for me. So. Let's get that popping right now. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, this is the official batting practice ticket for our 2018 spring training game, Yankees at Marlins. Okay, so as you guys can see, it's dope as hell. It was in Roger Dean Stadium, by the way. And like, I don't know, man. Like, it was lit. Um, look, you guys. It says Sunday, March 11, 2018, 10:30 p.m. Because if you guys don't know. Um, general admission, like these batting practice tickets were not included with the general admission tickets. Actually, general admission people, they get in at around 1130. And if you have a bat, if you have batting practice tickets, you actually get in an hour early, which is 1030 instead of 1130. So, you know, you already know we wanted signatures. So we had to, we had to up it a little bit, you know, get those batting practice tickets. You already know. But guys, I don't think you guys are ready to see the official baseball that greg bird signed for me and i don't I, but first first before i show you guys 
the ball shout out to greg bird man that man dude i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you that that guy is he, he's such a guy like i'm gonna be like there's just no words like i swear i'm stuttering because there's no words to describe that dude such a nice guy down to earth you know he makes you feel like you're you know he just you he makes you feel like you, he's, he's a normal person like a normal stranger we're just conversating you know but little does he know he's greg bird like you know what i mean but like you know he's one of those players that you know that he makes you feel welcome and you know he, he, just, he doesn't make you feel like a fan and he's a famous guy you know he makes you feel like a normal person so guys here is the official ball that greg bird signed for me this is it man Greg Bird's signature. You already know I had it in a case, or you already know I got it in a case. Um, actually, this is a Yankee ball as well. I don't know if you guys know, but uh, yeah, man, this is the official ball that Greg Bird signed for me. It was sick, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. If you guys don't, I don't know if you guys see my little collection I got going here, but this is Greg Bird. This is right here is Chad Green. He's a pitcher for the Yankees, and this right here. Oh God. This right here is Matt Holiday. Um, I don't know if he's still going to be currently on the Yankees, but he was. So even if he's not um, next season, at least I still have him. You know, I could maybe sell him for a few bucks or maybe just keep him giving to my kids. I know I'm definitely giving Greg Bird to my kids and Chad Green. I don't know. I don't know how much Matt Holiday is going to run for. But, hey, I might even give Matt Holiday to my kids. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so that, that's pretty much it, man. Alright guys, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed that video slash story time about how I met and I had a conversation with Greg Bird, one of the players on the New York Yankees. It was sick, great experience. We did lose, but hey, it didn't even matter. I met Greg Bird. Like, what do you mean? Like, like who like do you think I'm really gonna care about a loss? Like, I met Greg Bird. I had a conversation. I I asked Greg Bird to play Fortnite and he said he was down. Like Come on, the least the least of my concerns is that we lost. And plus, his spring training doesn't even count. So, um, guys, I need you guys. I mean, I'm probably going to drop a banger. I don't know when. Probably Thursday. Yeah, definitely. No, most definitely Thursday. Um, I'm going to be dropping a banger. Uh, probably another story time. And this, this will be the story time about how I was, again, inches away from Judge. And somebody ruined it again. But um, it wasn't my mom and it wasn't my dad. So just, just, just so you guys know. But, um, and I mean like inches away, like I could reach out and like, I, I don't want to exaggerate because last time I kind of did exaggerate low key because I was like, he was in the same building, but like, you know, we already, ha we had already taken our seats. We didn't take our seats this time. We were there and judge came up to the left side to sign like signatures and stuff and somebody messed it up. But that's for another video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, man, it's been your boy Savage TV and I'm out guys. Peace. Partly, I only love my bed and my mom. I'm sorry. 50 dub, I even got it tatted on me.